Tom Holland is a well-known English actor who is most recognized for playing Spider-Man. He had a nice build as he got older because to the dance talents he had. However, in order to fulfill his duties as Spider-Man, he had to alter his appearance to that of a superhero. This could not have been accomplished without a tremendous amount of perseverance and hard effort. Today we discuss all the ins and outs surrounding Tom Holland's workout routine and diet plan that will ensure he gets to star in great movies like Spider-Man and Uncharted. Tom Holland's colleagues co-stars and fans expressed their admiration for the change he underwent physically. In order to portray a heroic character on television, he was required to adhere to a diet that would help him grow muscle. The nicest thing about Tom Holland's diet plan is that it does not require you to give up any of your favorite foods, rather, it encourages you to find ways to adapt those foods so that they are as healthy as they can be. Subscribe to our channel for more celebrity workout videos and celebrity diet plans. Let us know in the comments which celebrity you would like to see next. Tom Holland diet plan was created specifically for his character in films like Spider-Man and Uncharted. If you want to have a body like Tom Holland, you need to start paying attention to what you put in your body, and that starts with your food. In most cases, this portion of your exercise regimen is not given the attention it deserves. If you have been daydreaming of having ripped abs like Spider-Man's, you need not be afraid. The meal plan that Tom Holland has created for you is going to help you with that. The only thing you need to do in order to lose weight, and more specifically fat, is to reduce the quantity of food that you consume. To put it another way, you should aim to have a calorie deficit in your diet plan. Let's get some inspiration going by taking a look at Tom Holland's eating routine, shall we? Tom Holland's diet plan starts with eggs, fruit, and cereal for breakfast. Snack, protein shake, multivitamin, lunch will consist of freshly prepared veggies and lean meat. Dinner will consist of lean meat and potatoes. It is true that this is Spider-Man's diet plan, and it serves him well. His regular diet consists of simple items that may be made quickly and with little effort. Because of its contribution to the development of your muscles, the amount of protein that you consume should be subject to close scrutiny. Incorporating greens into your diet not only supplies you with complex carbohydrates but also helps your body rid itself of toxins. The creation of a calorie deficit is necessary, but this does not imply that you should load your diet up with items that are poor in quality. The most important thing of Tom Holland's diet plan is to make an informed decision, which should not only help you feel full for a longer period of time but also assist you in avoiding further weight gain. Water is an additional vital component of Tom Holland's diet and plays an essential role. It is suggested that you consume at least 3 liters of water each day to maintain good health. Not only does it maintain the health of your digestive tract, but it also maintains the elasticity and radiance of your skin. Tom Holland likes to have a healthy dinner, which often consists of some type of lean meat and veggies. It is best to break up a large meal into two smaller meals during the day rather than consuming it all at once. Your body will be better able to adjust to the consumption of a fixed quantity of calories, and as a result, you will weigh less. The following is a list of the many kinds of cuisine that may be found in Tom Holland's kitchen, foods that have not been processed, fresh veggies, fruit, meat, poultry, eggs, whole grains, and water are the essential nutrients. Because Tom Holland is still fairly young and stays in good shape, he may avoid gaining weight even if he continues to consume the foods he enjoys the most. Despite this, he makes a conscious effort to abstain from anything that may be considered harmful. It is clear that he is making an effort, and he encourages other people to do the same. He steers clear of meals that include artificial additives, trans fats, refined foods, and junk food, among other things. Tom Holland added also supplements to his daily routines and diet plan. Tom Holland includes supplements in his diet to help him get the most out of his nutrition. Before adding any kind of supplement to your diet, it is strongly recommended that you get the opinion of a nutritionist first. The nutritional supplements that Tom Holland recommends using as part of your diet are outlined in the following paragraphs. Collagen, he takes this supplement because it helps relieve joint discomfort, reduces the signs of aging in the skin, and increases the amount of muscular mass he has. Calcium and vitamin D both contribute to the maintenance of healthy bone density. It also maintains a healthy condition for the muscles and nerves, which contributes to an overall improvement in health. 
Omega-3, omega-3 fatty acids are an important dietary supplement for maintaining a healthy heart. In addition to this, it helps reduce inflammation throughout the body. Protein, he includes whey protein in his diet since it is an excellent source of protein and helps in the development of his muscles. In addition to that, it assists in the reduction of exhaustion that he has after his strenuous training and activity. Multivitamins. This dietary supplement gives him the energy he needs to work out for an extended period of time. Strength in the muscles is preserved, and stress levels are lowered as a result. In addition to an all-diet plan, Tom Holland's training is also being watched to ensure that he is fit enough for each role. Therefore, we now dive into Tom Holland's workout routine. Before shooting the first Spider-Man movie, Holland had just finished filming another project for which he was needed to drop weight for the part. Holland had just six weeks to really bulk up in order to be ready for the heroic endeavor that was rapidly approaching. In order to build on his previous experience in gymnastics, he sought the assistance of personal trainer George Ashwell, who is located in London. Because the Spider-Man persona is recognized for his slender and athletic build, Ashwell set a goal to add 7 kilograms of lean muscle mass to the actor's frame without adding any more body fat. He was successful in accomplishing this aim. Ashwell worked with the actor each and every day throughout the window of time allotted for the change to take place, which was six weeks. According to what Ashwell told Esquire, since we weren't looking to bulk up too much, they were able to work out more muscle groups simultaneously. It'd be a full body circuit divided between possibly a posterior chain legs exercise with a horizontal push and pull, so chest and back, then anterior legs, like a squat, with a vertical push and pull, said the trainer. It'd be a complete body circuit. Compound motions and functional workouts were the primary emphasis of Tom Holland's training regimen for the role of Spider-Man in the film Far From Home. The purpose of the program was to not only guarantee that the actor fitted up his costume, but also that he was mobile enough to execute the physically taxing sequences that were required by the screenplay. The Spider-Man Championship Series Perform this circuit of four exercises for a total of five rounds. The first round should be treated as a warm-up, and the subsequent four should be treated as working sets. You should rest for 30 seconds between each exercise and two minutes between rounds. Before and after each round, Ashwell suggests doing one minute of functional range conditioning, which consists of dynamic stretches and joint mobility activities. 1. Deadlifts. It should not come as a surprise that Ashwell included this exercise in Tom Holland's Spider-Man routine since it is one of the compound lifts that is considered to be the most significant and encompassing. 2. Perform a pronation incline press 3. The incline press is a great example of a bodybuilding exercise, and it was a significant contributor to Tom Holland's physique in the first Spider-Man movie thanks to his dedication to working out. It places a primary emphasis on the upper chest area and contributes to the development of pecs. 3. Dip Bar Straight Leg Raise The straight leg raise was the first exercise to focus only on the abdominal region. It was this exercise that contributed to Tom Holland's famously ripped core. 4. Dips with a Loaded Weight Weighted dips are a standard exercise in the repertoire of bodybuilders all over the globe. This is because weighted dips are an excellent bodyweight activity for growing strength in the chest and triceps. One further advantage of doing weighted dips is that they allow you to work on opposing muscle groups at the same time. In addition to Tom Holland's training, recovery is very important. Because George Ashwell is also a physical therapist, in addition to being a trainer, he places a significant amount of importance on recuperation after each session. After finishing his exercise, Holland relaxes on the treatment table for a half an hour. Tom is one of the persons who is the most body aware, and he is also extremely simple to train. However, since we want to protect him from injury as much as possible, we don't often engage in more linear, bodybuilding style motions with him. He said, an excellent substitute for individuals who do not have the time or money to treat themselves to a sports massage every day is the use of a massage gun. It is something that can be done on the fly and while juggling many tasks, and it has been shown to have significant remedial advantages. Don't miss any details around celebrity workouts and diet plans. Subscribe to our channel for more celebrity workout videos and celebrity diet plans. Let us know in the comments which celebrity you would like to see next.
Did you like this video just as much as we do? Then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. See you next time.